There's an old saying that goes, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Hello, I'm Larry Coleman, and let me welcome you back to Tips for Job Seekers, effective strategies for getting the job you want without wasting a lot of time. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to conduct labor market research on the career or occupation you're interested in. This tip should save you a lot of time in trying to figure out if the career or job you're interested in is even going to be worth your time and effort. There are two primary concerns you should have when you're thinking about re-employment in the same kind of occupation you just left or starting down a new career path. In other words, there are really two questions you should ask yourself about the career or job you've been thinking about. The first is, is this something I really want to do? In other words, am I thinking about this career or job because I heard it pays well? Or am I thinking about this career or job because it's more congruent with my inner self, my passion? Is there something driving me? The latter is better. When you go into a new career because it feels right, and only you know for yourself if it feels right or not, even when all the naysayers try to persuade you to play on the safe side, if you follow your gut, you're going to be successful at it, and the money will follow. People who are driven by passion last a lot longer, even through periods of unemployment, should they become unemployed sometime in the future after stepping out there and following their dreams. The best case scenario is this, to find a job or career that pays well, and one in which you can wake up in the morning and feel good about going to, feel good about the opportunity of working and making a difference in your own life and the lives of others. I once heard business consultant and motivational speaker Brian Tracy give the best acronym for job. He said having a J-O-B, a job, simply means this, being just over broke. That's all. And he's right. The site that we're going to today is used by both career coaches who are privately contracted to work with unemployed or underemployed workers and those workforce development workers who work in your one-stop career centers or the unemployment office. So let's go there now and get started. The name of this site is www.onet.com online.org This site, www.onetonline.org, is really the United States Department of Labor main occupational research portal. And they want job seekers to come here. In their eyes, the more the merrier. No matter what you think about politics and the economy, a weak workforce is a weak nation and the government is investing too much money in training for high-wage, in-demand occupations to let the country slip off into oblivion. So enough about that. I was looking over an occupation employment wage report from March the 27th, 2012, in which the employment levels for retail sales people accounted for 4.3 million employees and cashiers accounted for another 3.3 million people. So I want to take a look at the projections for people who are interested in finding employment in retail sales and find out what the current projected growth rates for this occupation are. I'm going to type in retail salesperson in the occupational quick search and see what comes up. I did this a little earlier today. Now the first thing that you'll notice, this is going to give you a summary report for retail sales. But I want to scroll all the way to the bottom. And I want to stop here for a moment. The first thing you'll notice, besides the 2011 projected earnings for this type of position, is the projected growth rate and projected job openings across the United States for retail sales occup occupations from 2010 to 2020. This information right here. Now this information is okay. It's quite okay, but I want to go a little bit deeper than this. 
I want to find out what the projections are for where I'm living. Now I live in Indiana, so I'm going to take a look at the projections for Indiana. When this page comes up, you can watch a short video about retail sales occupations if you'd like to know more about this type of job. Now, the first box here is going to give you the state and national wage trends. It gives the hour, the lowest hourly rate for retail sales people to the highest. Now, we're going to drop down here and take a look at the state and national employment trends for retail sales people. You see that there's a projected growth rate nationally of 17 plus 17 percent but look at the specific growth rate for Indiana the projected growth rate for retail sales positions in Indiana is 10 percent less than the national average now both projections are decade projections the national projection is going to be from 2010 as you can see right here 2010 to 2020 the state projections is going to be from 2008 to 2018. Although the projections are not comparable, they are still, nevertheless, relevant for you. And here's why. Let me tell you a little story about projections. When I was in grade school, my fifth grade class took a little field trip to the local telephone company. Back then in Indiana, there were uh, small Indiana Bell satellites everywhere. And this branch that we visited was within walking distance from my grade school. When we got to the building and had filed in, the guide met us, introduced herself, and started her presentation. Right out the gate, she took us over to a glass case and our eyes lit up like some kind of spell had been cast over us. Because inside this glass case, get this, was a computer monitor and it had a woman's face on it as if she was actually doing a Skype video or speaking to us through her webcam. Now this was all space age to us, but folks, that field trip took place almost a half century ago. I'm simply saying that you can probably bet that the job projections are going to be pretty much on the money and this is why every person needs to research the occupation or careers they are interested in pursuing. So I want you to learn how to navigate this site so that you can make a really good career choice. Well, that's my tip for today. Do your homework on the career or industry you're interested in. It's the smartest thing you can do. Bye-bye.